12. Stunning. F91 were. That used to be. That's what I still call it, F91, but it isn't. Mm. I walked past it down at Jim Fowers once, so that was F12 BPH. And I thought, someone put something in my tea, so I didn't know anything about it, but he found out on the internet. That, and it's, hey, what an app number, isn't it? Right. An F12, yeah, Brian yeah. Palmer Haulage. Yeah, yeah. But Eric had that new 1st of April 89, and that was a gold four-wheeler. It's got a 400 horsepower engine in there, and a three-gate box. That little F7 we've been in, there's a four-gate, isn't it? Yep. That's a three, if I remember rightly, and then that's got a range change and a splitter, so it's different to the other one. But that's, that's just a stunning truck, really. It's quiet, comfortable. I mean, Glow Trotters in 89 weren't a common truck, mm. and his wife liked the Ford Champagne gold colour, mm. and she picked it. And that's why it was painted in that gold. They had a Granada, but it wasn't gold. Mm. Probably, probably she couldn't get the car, so the next best thing was having it replicated on a truck. And Mickey Welton painted it, my mate, need a market, and he said, have you got a logo? And he said, no, and he put a palm tree on the... Oh, yeah. right, right. I had a brown yeah, yeah. palm tree yeah. as a, a pun on Palmer. Yeah, yeah. And I, I think that was 98, but things were going very wrong in transport. 98, 99, diesel mm. was going up, mm. rates weren't. Mm. And Eric decided to sell it, basically, and he came in the office. Uh, another thing is that was a four-wheeler then, you see, and that's not... Yeah. You're sort of tied yeah. what you can do with it, because yeah. containers are traditionally loaded all the weights at the front, because if they're loading it and they're not sure it's going to fit, they put it all up the front. Right. So you, you, if you're carting containers, to have a four-wheeler is really a mistake, because you don't know how the box is lying, spread. Inside. And it, yeah, and if you're yeah. going on pulling Roro trailers on the dock, you've got to have a six-wheel unit for the weight to pull it basically so Eric was faced with buying getting into debt and buying something new and having four, more nights out than he wanted or call it a day and Brian bought this gold as a four-wheeler and then over time he painted it white converted it into a six-wheeler with that axle off an FL10 he was breaking up right. and this is his, how it is now but I don't think this will ever go anywhere I mean it is just metal and plastic but it isn't to some people is it mm. this is a family heirloom really isn't it mm. I had a story about this in Classic Truck. Mm. That was on the field protest at Ipswich in 99 when that all broke. You remember. Was that 99 or was it 01? When was the field strike, Brian? You can't remember, can you? No. When was the field strike? The Twin Towers, that was 2000, wasn't it? It was 2000. Twin Towers, that was 2000. September 11th was when the Twin Towers and the field strike broke out here, September the 11th, 2000, that's how you remember. Mm. This, there's a picture of this that I took with a petrol, a Evening Star headline, petrol pump panic, on the, that come off the board the day before. <laughs> what else can I tell you about it? I used to drive mm -hmm. a car and potatoes. Right. You've driven this one? Yeah. I remember I got stuck with no gears once on a roundabout. I was in a muddle and that wasn't in anything. <laughs> Must have been embarrassing, wasn't it? Well, I didn't really know what to do, so I turned it off, started it up, had a fiddle round, and then the air, the air was getting through the stick. So that was what was And that was fine. When Trevor drove this truck onto the ferry, that started chuffing. And what had happened, that blew an injector out. Because we put new pistons and rings in that, that upped the compression. Uh, and um, we got onto the dock, I always remember the... The, the French sailors were shouting for Trevor to get off the boat because that was white smoke everywhere. And, and um, we tilted a cab and we, would, we were carrying racing pigeons at the time and they'd got feed and water the racing pigeons. Um, so we tilted the cab and there's this uh, injector pipe like that with this injector blown right out of it. And um, by sheer stroke of luck, I went to tap with a screwdriver to get the old bolt out, bearing in mind it was a 20 year old engine, mm -hmm. and the bolt turned and came out. And then I curved the pipes, put the injector back, got the injector clamp, found a bolt underneath the mud guard that would fit, and I bolted it back in. <laughs> and the, the letter 8 was lying on the ground near where I worked, and apparently that's lucky in Japan. So I got it. Put it on there. That's the story of the eight. Well, I didn't know. So that. it's lucky eight. Then. Lucky eight. Eight is not bad. We got seven. out of the muddle and we got home. Yeah. Duffield's had 
30, 70, 30s, right. which were blue FM Globetrotters mm. that they sold to good customers they picked cheap as a celebration of yeah. 70 years of Volvo trucks oh, right, and 30 right. years of Duffields having the franchise. Right. 54,000 on the bar, I still remember. Yeah, yeah. And then after a year, they'd give you a £1,000 to paint it in your colours if you left it in right. the blue for a yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. And I've got 26 of a 30. And me and Peter Abbott, who sold them all, are still trying to work out which four are missing. But Brian ended up cancelling his because mm. that wasn't worth spending the money. No, the fuel at prices the time. were going mad yeah. at the time. And yeah. that, that, um. But by default, Brian has got his own 70 30 because he was 70 and this is 30 year old. So even, oh, though, yeah. he, even though he missed <laughs> yeah. that, yeah, that's excellent. Yes, that he still is. got excellent. one. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been in business, Alan, bro? 35 years. 35 years, man, as, man as and a, boy then. As really. a sole trader, 45 right. years since I went independent with my brother. Right. Uh, and that's where there's a truck out there, if you take a picture of it later. Mm -hmm. And that's got 50 on it, and that's 50 years next week. Since I had that HGV. No, amazing. Amazing, isn't it? Really? All in isn't one month. Yeah. All in one month. All that month. Yeah. And you yeah. still like trucks? Yes. Yes, you I'm like. still enthusiastic yes, about them. I think it's yeah. the enthusiasm that, the enthusiasm that keeps us going, to be honest with you. Because there's been some poor time. Yeah. 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 Yeah, there has. What did you say this morning, Winston Churchill's oh, yeah. failure? Win Winston success. Churchill. <laughs> success yeah. is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. <laughs> I'll go with that. And uh, that, that, that sums up that. a lot of what I've done, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it sums yeah. up a lot of what I've done.